Okay, hello everyone, and welcome back to World of Tanks Blitz. And as you will notice, my first ever tier 10 tank is in the garage, and here it is, Das Mouse. Um, a very large heavy tank, as you all will know, at tier 10. Um, and so, um, yeah, Das Panzerkampfwagen Mouse. Well, it's technically the Panzerkampfwagen 7, but... I can't, I can't be bothered to say that. <laughs> can't be bothered to say the German word for seven. Um, but anyway, yep. Yeah, so there we go. Finally, after all of that time grinding out this little monster, it's a very nice tank. This is the VK. I do like it. But um, well, it's the mouse in it. <laughs> so yeah, got myself a mouse. Um, what do you need to know about this tier ten heavy tank? Well, it's the first ever tier 10 tank that I am, that I am now in ownership of. Um, oh, it feels good to drive a mouse. <laughs> so, as you can see, I have currently got it installed with mint candy, looks different, and um, what is it? Breakthrough, of course. Um, so you've got the camo dedicated to Android, phones to iOS phones and of course to Steam on here. Why this one? Well, why the hell not? <laughs> why the hell not? Steam can never es you can never escape from Steam. Um Verdun Forest looks alright on it, as does um oh not that. As does Inferno. As you can see. Inferno looks alright on this. Uh I just thought eh We'll go for the breakthrough because why the hell not? But I think Mint Candy looks alright on it. As for Clan Warrior, well, I mean, yeah, it's alright, but I mean, oh, didn't want to do that. What else is there? You've got Undeniable Advantage, which is like that, and then you got Shattered Ice, which, yeah, it's alright. But as you can see, it's so big that it can't actually fit on the screen with, um, <laughs> with the camouflage things and it barely even fits on this screen it's so big but yeah that's mouse so as you can see here 89 percent protection 75 percent firepower 92 percent shot effectiveness and unsurprisingly 18 percent maneuverability so to start off with it has got the most hp out of any tank in the game with 2500 hp not as much as the 3000 on pc but that's still a fair amount of hit points as for the armor, 200 frontal hull, 85 side, 160 rear. This thing does very well side scraping, but you can really just sort of point it at anything and, and they'll trap themselves and bounce off of you. So, I mean, yeah. I mean, I've bounced Jagdpanzeri 100 heat shells off of the turret. Um, the very last game that I played, which was on mines in the tank. Um, Jagdpanzer E100 was turning my turret that away, so turret was turning that way, Jagdpanzer E100, heat shell, <laughs> straight onto the side of the turret, it, the turret was about that angled perhaps, heat shell right here, <laughs> did nothing. Non-penetration for the Jagdpanzer E100. So, yeah, the armour is pretty decent, as you can see here's the turret armour, 240 frontal turret, 210 side and rear. That's a very thick turret. It's a very thick hull as well. It's a very well well armored tank. Um, that combined with the um, high amount of HP means that you can live for a very long time in this tank if you angle your armor like that around a building like that, perhaps, or indeed from the side bounce. Generally anywhere, <laughs> just anywhere on the tank, people will struggle to get through. I mean, I've been surrounded in the mouse, and they've still bounced most of their shots off of me, so I mean, yeah, that's mouse. Um, yeah, it's a, a very slow-turning turret, however, 14.93 degrees per second. It's an alright view range, 255.4 meters, meh, it's alright. The suspension low limit, 92, uh, sorry, 192. <laughs> um, but yeah, so the armor's very good. As for maneuverability, it weighs 189 tons with 192 ton load limit. So it's a fairly weighty tank. Once I fit uh, enhanced gun lane drive on this thing, it'll be 
it will be over 190 tons so yeah weighs a lot but it has got a very beefy engine 1750 horsepower then again 190 tons with a 1750 horsepower engine which means well it's not that quick 25 kilometers per hour top speed forwards is not very good hull traverse 20.2 degrees per second 15 degrees per second tire traverse yeah people flank you you can get killed very very easily because look at the height of this thing I mean ISs can sort of hide behind your tank um, it is yeah it's a pretty big tank <laughs> um, so yeah that's something that you got to watch out for mediums rushing you and get to the side and just putting sides shots into your side um so there's the suspension for the mouse 192.90 ton load limit there's the engine 12 chance of fire and impact which isn't that bad actually probably won't get many fires in this thing but now we come to the gun um and this is the same gun as you get on some tier 8 tank destroyers so it's not that great of a gun in terms of penetration but it, it'll do anything you can penetrate in the vk you can penetrate in the mouse basically so playing this thing a lot means that you will probably know exactly what tanks you can and cannot shoot at from various angles um but there's the gun on the vk exactly the same stats as the one on the mouse so 128 kwk 44 l55 gun obviously the front of the gun does look different as you can see there's the front of the gun on the tier 10 there's the front of the gun on the tier 9 um, the tier 9 gun has got this i'm not too sure what this is a heat dissipator perhaps i'm not too sure but as you can see the mouse does not have it um, but 5.47 rate of fire rounds per minute, 246 average pen, it's an 11 second reload um, on the mouse with 246 pen isn't that bad but then again it's one of the lowest out of all of the tier 10s um, so I mean yeah could be better penetration but it'll do 311 with uh, APCR not that bad um, pretty good penetration there 65 with high explosive yeah. 460 average damage 600 with high explosive it's it's a pretty good um, damage average shot so the alpha damage is pretty good the accuracy isn't that bad 0.35 could be better but then again not that bad so pretty good dispersion aim time with an enhanced gun lane drive let's have a look aim time will go down to 4.8 seconds which isn't that bad that's a pretty good aim time so yeah aim time not that bad um, and as for the point yeah blah, blah, blah. so yeah that's the mouse that's the basic stats there gun depression at the front isn't isn't that great however because it does have uh, this thing here which covers up a grill and it also stops the turret from acting as a shot trap sort of so yeah but the armor angling is pretty much what this armor is all about you've got to angle the mouse um, you can't just sort of let point it forwards and let it do the work for you like you can with an IS um, IS7 or IS4 so I mean you do have to do some angling sort of parking yourself up like that will increase the effective armor of this plate this plate keeping a turret like this however is what you want to do because E100 and the mouse what you want to do is when you're reloading point your turret away from them so say you've got someone off to the side you don't keep your turret pointing at them you keep your turret facing the front of your hull therefore when they go to shoot you they get the 240 frontal turret armor angled they also get the 210 flat um, armor which is at an extreme angle auto bounce so they'll auto bounce there and there they'll have a tough time penetrating there and they'll have a tough time penetrating there so that's what you want to do you want to keep the turret away pointing away from them because from the front they could just sort of aim sort of this area and penetrate through but angling like that yeah as for the ammo loadout carries 68 total rounds um, which is enough to get you through any battle as for the equipment gun lane, uh, 
gun rammer, sorry, and vents is definitely what you want. Vents to increase the maneuverability and the gun rammer to uh, decrease the rate of fire. Uh, sorry, decrease reload time, increase a rate of fire. Uh, vertical stabilizer, mm, maybe not, but then again, your turret traverses very slowly, so I mean, vertical stabilizer, maybe not such a bad idea, but gun lane drive, it's a tight choice between these two. Um, I mean, of course, once you've bought one, you, then you can always just switch between the others, um, because that's how Blitz works. You can just sort of replace replace um, what, you, what you've got in there. Or is it? I'm not too sure. Let's have a look. So if I select that, yeah, see, I can just replace it. So, yeah. If you don't like the gun rammer and you want the vertical stabilizer or vice versa, then you can always just switch them out. They're the same credit cost, I mean. Yeah. Um, tanks filled with CO2 and wet ammo for 50% chance for 50% uh, ammo and fuel tank durability in case you keep getting ammo racked or set on fire. Then you've got that. Camo net, binos, no. You're very slow and you're a heavy tank. You're one of the best heavy tanks in the game. No, don't sit back and snipe with the binos and the camo net. Definitely not. Coated optics, if you want to increase your view range, um, then you got that. Heavy spore liner, mm, people generally tend to not fire high explosive at higher tiers because there's no, there's no real thinly armoured tanks that you can use high explosive on. So I mean, other than, other than the leopards, maybe. But other than that, nah. Don't bother with them. And then toolbox to increase the repair speed. That's always a useful thing to have. So I mean, you could just go ahead and slap that on there if you wanted. Um, but yeah, you'll definitely want those two. And then the third, third choice, perhaps either vertical stabilizer or gun lane drive. That's what I'd say. As for provisions, you've got standard or a poo fuel for plus three or ten percent respectively to t engine power and turret reverse. Um, then you've got chocolate for plus three or ten percent respectively to crew mastery. Then you've got your multi-purpose restoration kit, which is 15% of protection of crew from injuries, 10% module repair, 20% fire protection, 10% ammo, and fuel tank durability. So you can go ahead and stick some of those provisions on if you want. Um, I tend not to because otherwise I will lose more money than I would normally <laughs> play if I if we get a bad game. As for consumables, repair kit, first aid kit, fire extinguisher, yeah, you're going to want that. Engine power boost, 20% to engine power for 15 seconds with a 75 second cooldown. Maybe not such a bad idea on this tank because, um, well, engine power is always needed on this tank, so not such a bad idea. As for adrenaline, 20% to low speed for, um, for 15 seconds and a 10% chance of damaging enemy vehicle modules, 15 seconds, 75 second cooldown, maybe. If you want, go ahead and uh, load one of them on. And then your multi-purpose restoration pack extinguishes fire, pairs all damage modules and heals all crew members for 90 seconds with a multiple uses per battle, as are all of these. So you could go with the three standard, as I've gone here, which is repair kit, first aid kit, fire extinguisher, or you could mix them up with a couple of these and one or two of the multi-purpose. Um, but I tend to go with the three standard ones because, say you've got engine power boost, adrenaline, and one of these, and you get detracted and you need to um, repair your track. So you burn your multi-purpose restoration pack and you get going, then 10 seconds later you get set on fire. Um, unlikely in the mouse perhaps, but in case that does happen, um, so you've used your multi-purpose restoration pack to repair your track, then 10 seconds later you get set on fire. What do you do? You can't put it out because this is on a cooldown. You just keep burning, which is why I go with the repair kit, first aid kit, fire extinguisher. So. That's why I go with those three instead of the others. But the others are a more viable option on this tank, perhaps, than other tanks. But, yeah, I go with the three standard. As for the crew, can't say anything because Blitz does crew skills differently. You know, camos and, and all of that. So, yeah, they do things differently. So you can, I can't really say anything about the crew. But, anyway, yes, that is Dust Mouse. Um, it's a very strong tier 10 tank. Um tier 10 heavy tank um, and I love it it's my first ever tier 10 woo um, and it's of course the mouse um, so yeah I'll oh, thank you for watching and goodbye